Well, good Monday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you and you had a good night's rest. You're ready to face the day, whatever that may hold for you. I enjoyed our time in church this weekend. I hope you did as well. Um, I hope that if you don't attend or you've been unable to, that if it's possible, you'll be able to get back out soon. Uh, but if not, we're thankful for all those that take the time to watch this devotion. This is no way uh, near meant to replace church for folks. But if you can't get out, hopefully it will be an encouragement. In the book of Matthew in chapter 28, this is Jesus right before uh, we see him no longer on this earth. He is going back to his father. And uh, the scripture says in verse 17 and verse 28, And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Uh, amen. What is he saying to them? It is important for them, it's important for us to go, to teach, to baptize in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, to go and share uh, the love of God with people, to share the love of Christ with people, to share the story of salvation, the gospel story of forgiveness through and by Jesus Christ and by his shed blood. Now, you don't have to be a preacher to do that. Uh, it is the preacher's job. Sometimes I think, I think we get it mixed up, messed up, whatever, where it's almost like uh, we listen to preachers like we would watch American Idol contestants to see which one delivers the best, shouts the most, does whatever. Uh, to me, those kind of things just... Uh, the best way I can say it is the preaching of the Word of God is uh, foolishness to those who are lost. But to us who are saved, it is the power of God and the salvation, the Scripture says. But preaching the Word of God... Uh, and the Spirit of God being involved in that. It may be a different manner or style of preaching. Some people, you know, I mean, everybody's not cut to the same mold. And I think that's fine. Find where you like, find what you enjoy and go. But to enjoy a style over substance would be wrong. So enjoy um, the, the lesson, the message of God, the teaching, the instruction. Uh, but to the lost, it is important that the lost man hear and the lost woman hears. And uh, yes, it takes preachers for that, but also um, common folk who are not preachers uh, to deliver uh, the message of their relationship with the Lord as well. Don't know that I've ever sang this song. I've had it in my songbook for probably 25 years at least, maybe a little longer than that. And uh, thought I would learn it, never did. Know some other people who sing it. This is not to boast and build up a preacher per se, but it's just thanking God for the people who share Christ with others. As I walk down the sidewalk of a sin-stricken city, I see the misfortunes of men. The man in the gutter lying there lifeless, clutching a bottle in his hand. He was some mother's darling, maybe some young man's father, but now he's a prisoner to sin. No hugs in the morning, and no family altar. He gets by the best that he can. Thank God for the preacher who told me of Jesus, for I'd be a if not for his grace lord help me show others your love and your mercy 
make my life a witness to others I pray in a little white church house at an old tear-stained altar a prayer for God's mercy was heard though his sins were many and his burdens heavy he took the Lord at his word the angels rejoiced as he was forgiven shouts filled the temple on that day I will never get over that trip to the altar where I was that sinner who prayed thank God for the preacher who told me of Jesus where I'd be a beggar if not for his grace Lord, help me show others your love and your mercy. Make my life a witness to others, I pray. Lord, help me show others your love and your Make my life a witness to others, I pray. Lord, we thank you for uh, those that spoke truth to us, those who uh, spoke what they held on to be as the gospel, those who proclaimed the blood of Christ, those who proclaimed hell, uh, hot and heaven, pure and sweet. I'm thankful for those. Didn't have to be a preacher. Could have been uh, a, a little woman. Could have been a, a, an older gentleman. Uh, whoever it was that shared Christ with those that are watching this today, God, we're thankful for them. Help us share him with others. We love you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. See you Tuesday.